Sometimes I do side hustles like delivery work. You may do DoorDash or you may do Grubhub. Um, I do stuff uh, other, like I do like more like packaging deliveries and stuff. So while you waiting on a delivery, you might have some downtime. So in some downtime, I will have my laptop with me and I want to see if this can be compatible with my car. Okay, we have here, thank you for your business. Let us know what you think of our product. All right, leave a review if you have any questions. All right, so this is not leave a review. We'll give you a gift card type of thing. Okay, we have a manual and then they have two different models for this. I think the model that I got is this one, the heavy duty one. Uh, please be advised of driving off road. Okay, this is just to protect their tails, I think. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. All right, this is adjustable right here. So basically you adjust on the back. This feels like rubber feet. So when it's on your laptop, it shouldn't scratch your laptop. All right, so basically this is the base. We'll get into the install later. We have the extensions and this seems very heavy duty. This is the control arm. Not that much to this. And then you have the most important part of the install is you got a spacer. Look like a spacer. Like you screw this part in your seat right there. So they basically got two different ones. And I'm going to install this in the car so y'all can actually see the install. We are going to take the bolt off and for you to do that you will need either a little uh ratchet set or your socket set which i got a review on this i'll put that link right there and then you can use an impact in which i'm going to try to use the impact because i want this done fast as possible All right, so they gave us two options. So in my situation, since I got this hump here, I'm gonna try to use this L shape. But what I'm gonna do is try to install it backwards. So the back piece will be further in like so, but I need to install this part so I can install the arm on there. So this one has the, the, um, the part where you can screw in the little uh the the grooves teeth the grooves where you can screw it in the threads i don't know why i go blank when i record okay you guys so real quick i am going to make a change i am going to hook it up the right way so you see the teeth right here four teeth got four right there you could call this the female you could call this the male however you want to call it all right we're going to screw that in then we're going to put it on the opposite side so I already put my screw back to hold my seat in and I unscrewed this seat over this side. And we are going to try to hook this up the right way, ladies and gentlemen. All right, get our 12 millimeter. And the cool part is it says 12 M on here. A lot of product products should do that. Back here on the install and we are going to put this back on this bolt back onto our seat we got the teeth right here now the chair kind of shifted a little bit so i might take the other side back off depending oh uh, nope i don't need to all right let me just put that in just a tad bit okay Oh, gotta lift it up. <laughs> okay. Now. Now, depending on your hookup, now see this, this is real close to the bolt. So as you can see, I can only go so far in 
and then this part will be left out right there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take this washer. Thank you all for the washer. I don't think I had an extra one anyway. I'm gonna put this washer right on top of this screw and that should hold it down real tight. We got that installed. Is not going nowhere. Try to rig it up a little bit better. It is what it is, right? Shouldn't be using this while you're driving. All right. Don't use your laptop while you're driving. Unscrew this. Put this in an angle. And I can't turn that around. Oh, there we go. I can go like that. A little bit tight. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, guys. We did it. We did it. All right. So now it's in, uh, I'm screwed because that is backwards. I'm gonna see if I could put this on top. Can we do reverse psychology? Amazing. It pays to be mechanically inclined, just to let you know. Let's tighten this up. All right. Now we can tighten it. Tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Okay. Oh, too tight. Now we got to loosen, 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 squeeze. No, nope. loosen, 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 loosen. Too loose. Tighten, tighten, tighten. All right. <clears throat> that is tight. All right, screw this in. Now this got teeth, so we screw in, screw in. Make sure you end the teeth on this part. This is an extension. All right, so let's get into this other part. Okay, you guys. Wow, camera looks a little blurry, but my car is like a big toolbox. I got nothing but tools in this car. I got y'all in my hand right now. We are going to try to install the last piece of the puzzle. So you see this shaft right here? We have this back part right here and it should go right into the shaft. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be hard for me to do with the, with the camera holding it and trying to install it. But I just wanna show y'all real quick, just in case you come into this problem. It's a little tight to get on to this metal peg right here, right? So what you wanna do is take a screwdriver and try to spread, spread out the feet right here, spread it out a little bit, cause that's what tightens it when you put that handle on. When you put that handle on to tighten it, you know, the one that you can shift up and down. When you put that handle on, it tightens this part. So with a screwdriver, stick it in, spread it out, and then fit it in. Okay, so I'm still having troubles. So what I did was took some good old Vaseline. Take some good old Vaseline, go around, cause it's so tight. Go around the part on the inside. Okay, now we are going to shove it in. All right, y'all wouldn't believe this. Even with the Vaseline, it still wouldn't go in. So what I had to do was put it on and put the screwdriver right here in the middle, open it up, leave it like that, and then scoop back, forth, back, forth, push in, push in, push in. But we got it in and it's not coming off. I'm just letting y'all know that now. Even when you put the handle on, like I said, this handle will tighten it up. The handle goes from one side to the other so basically it's a screw if you want it to swing more to you you have to unscrew it right here and then you can adjust it however you want to if you want it more up then you have to screw unscrew the bottom part so you can have it go up some more like more straight all right now for the moment of truth I am not going to use my MacBook Pro right now because I want a case for it first. This is rubber, 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 another rubber, more rubber, rubber, and rubber. It sh your computer should be well protected, but still, me personally, I want to use a case. Here I have this compact. And this is a big computer. I'm just showing y'all real quick. This is a heavy computer. 
This is a 15 inch computer. In the reality of it, you're supposed to go all the way back to the rubber part. Don't know if you see it. That rubber part is in the back. This is supposed to turn. Oops, this is a little bit hard to turn, but you unscrew this part to drop it down, lock it in. Am I doing righty tighty? No, that's left. Okay, right. That's how it's supposed to go on. It's a little bit pricey, yes. It's on the $160 price tag, but I am going to use that as a write-off as a business expense since I do, you know, side hustles, you know, whatever, delivery work or whatever you do. Your job might require you to be on the road all the time and you always have your laptop. Or maybe you're the type that go to Panera Bread and you don't want to eat in Panera Bread, but you will take their Wi-Fi and just eat in your car while you do your work on your computer in your car. So this tool is pretty cool. I like it. And this is awesome. So if anybody want to come in my car, take it off from the bottom piece. And that's it. Other than that, this is a good product. 